Hey, friends and family of Renovo, this is Kelly, and today I am here by a woman who needs no introduction, mm -hmm. Bailey Choate. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Wow, superstar. Girl, you are on fire. <laughs> oh my goodness. So fun. So tell us, how are you doing? How's this all just kind of soaking in for you? You know, it's been it's been a journey. It's been a roller coaster for sure. Um, you know, but it's been over the last like couple months so much fun. I've learned so much. Um, you know, I just left Calgary this week. Um, I would have liked for it to gone better. You know, I drug barrels to win rounds, and you know, just I feel like me and my horse both a little experience inexperience for that setup. But like Pinocchio last week, oh, that was so much fun and. You know, I've just really been enjoying it and, you know, spending time on the road with my family and my horses. It's, it's been a lot of fun. Well, we love that you're staying fun because what you do is hard work. It is not easy. <laughs> we can only imagine what goes on behind the scenes and, and the moments that are, you know, just probably harder than you ever thought. So the fact that you're having fun is awesome. Number five in the world. Oh my goodness. So 4th of July weekend was a big weekend. You really moved up. Tell us about that. You know, I, um, 4th of July, well, obviously it's my rookie year. So it was my first ever Cowboy Christmas. Um, and so I went to four rodeos over Cowboy Christmas. So I, it started on Monday. I ran my first round at Pinoca and then on Wednesday I drove all the way to Williams Lake which is 12 hours and I ran there on Thursday night and then we had to drive all night Thursday night to get back to 3 30 perf at Airdrie and then we left Airdrie and drove to Raymond um and then left Raymond on Saturday drove back to Pinoca for the finals and or for the uh semifinals and then the final four um so yeah it was kind of crazy um I ended up turning out of like some other rodeos in the States and just decided to stay up in Canada. Um, so to have like that good of a fourth, my rookie year is like, truly, we were all just like, wow, <laughs> you know, it was, it was really cool. And, you know, my first Cowboy Christmas, I would say was, was pretty successful and my horses worked good. I felt like they really understood like this week is important. <laughs> and <laughs> so they like stayed working hard for me. So I'm thankful for that. Wow. And yes, this is your rookie year. So really your first of everything, but you've been watching this for a long time. Does it seem like the stakes are getting even higher to be up there in the top? Is it taking, you know, more rodeos and more earnings and it just, is it getting harder? You know, I, um, I started off this year. I was like, I just want to win rookie of the year. And then I kind of started doing good there. So then I was like, okay, I want to get into the top 30. That way I can get into the big winter rodeos for next year, like the rodeos that you can't go to as a rookie. And so then I got in the top 30 and then I was like, okay, well, we, we've kind of been here for a minute. So let's go bigger. I was like, let's go to the top 15 and try to make the finals, which is like my like unrealistic goal. I was like, you know, we can dream big, right? So for it to like kind of, you know, there's a lot of rodeos left, but for it to kind of like be like in that picture right now, it's, it's really crazy. Um, especially it being my rookie year, like the first six months, I didn't even win $500. So if you would ask me six months ago, if I would be here right now, I'd be like, no, you're crazy, you know? <laughs> so, um, to be, have the opportunities that I'm having right now and for my horses to be doing as good as they're doing right now, it's just, it's awesome. And it's pretty cool to do it my rookie year for sure. Well, we agree. We are just so thrilled with you. We love that you dream big, keep dreaming bigger because you are running after it. You're putting the effort and all of the, the work behind it and it's happening. And, and we are just having so much fun watching you. So give us an update on the horses. Who's in your trailer and how are they doing? Um, so I have three with me right now up in Canada. So we have Boozer, who is everybody's favorite. <laughs> he is doing good. Um, he, you know, he's kind of just ran here and there um I went second on him at Williams Lake and placed I think fifth on him at Airdrie and sixth on him at Raymond over the 4th of July um so he's been doing good um indoor pins are more his kind of setup like those little bitty indoors he loves them so hopefully Thomas and Mac I feel like he will do so good there um and then you have Dash who has 
he came off a two year break in the beginning of June. And so he's been kind of getting his feet wet in rodeo. He's young. And before I started rodeoing on him, he hadn't rodeoed before. Um, but he has stepped up and been the superstar of like the last month. Um, he won Wainwright. I won Pinocchio on him. All of three rounds of Pinocchio I won on him. Um, he was the one that I chose to run at Calgary. I drug her out and went around there, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> um, you know, he just stepped it up like so much and been very like dependable. Oh, he's the one that got me to Calgary through the qualifier. And then on the trailer, we also have Preacher. Um, he's more of like that deeper kind of that trashy ground. You know, you can put him in that deep stuff that a lot of horses can't pull through. That's what he likes. Um, and like the mud, he does good in the mud. Um, so he's kind of my mudder, my deeper ground horse, which I haven't really got to run him a whole lot up here because, you know, it's not really been set up for him. Um, however, I think I might break him out in the wild card round at Calgary, you know, just see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so he's on the trailer. I won a lot on him like in May and like the bigger already is like Gaiman, Mineral Wells, Vernon, all that. Um, so yeah, those are the three I have on the trailer and everyone's doing good right now. Um, stayed pretty sound and feeling good that is great so all three of those horses have had renovo correct yes ma'am all three of them have had renovo and um the biggest horse that like lives on it is definitely boozer the roan um i think we we he he tore a suspensory um back in vegas last year at the all-in and so like his like what really made me like a true blue believer and it was we started treating him um December February and I didn't have the other two come the American I only had him and um so the first run back was the semifinals of the American or the long round the slack round and he literally got released on that Tuesday and the slack round was that Friday and it like well, that was the week that it like froze over, so I really didn't even get to ride him Wednesday and Thursday. And he literally came back, hadn't been rode even rode in three months. Came back on that Friday and made the perf rounds. I think he was like seventh or eighth in the long round. And you know that's why I was like, okay, like wow. <laughs> and um, we also did like regional perfusions down that leg, um, before I left just to make sure it stayed good. Um, so it's been a huge game changer in him for sure. Love that running and winning on Renovo. So many of the horses. In fact, I just saw the top 50. We have so many of our sponsored athletes in there and, and many that are not sponsored, but are still using Renovo. So We love that it's keeping those performance horses healthy, running and winning. Oh, yeah. And like Dash, you know, he came back from two years um, from a soft tissue injury as well. And we used it on him um, back in May, I think. And I think it was a huge thing for him to come back as strong as he's come back was definitely, you know, having that Renovo and and him feeling good. It's been a game changer and keeping all of them feeling good for sure. Excellent. And Preacher also is good. Yeah, Preacher, I think, I can't remember what we put it in him. I think I want to say his Hawks or something. Okay. Um, Dr. Harvey did that back in when I very first got him, so like April. Um, but Preacher, he's kind of a horse. He just, I don't really think he ever gets hurt. Like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever been like, this horse is sore. Like, he's just tough, I guess. Um, but I, I want to say that we used it in his Hawks back in April. Well, let's keep them tough and healthy and, and, and running. That's awesome. Yes, ma'am. So, Bailey, with all the things you have going on, you also have this entrepreneurial spirit on you, and you have started your own company. Tell us about B Equine Essentials. So, B Equine Essentials, I actually didn't start it. Um, it was my, we bought it out. Um, the lady has had it for years, and it was just, you know, she, like, just couldn't make enough of it um, to kind of keep up. So, uh, I think last October, um, me and my family, we invested in Bitcoin and kind of like grew it and it's gotten a lot bigger. Um, but yeah, it's a poultice that I use religiously going down the road. Um, it's been big and just like everyday soreness, you know, the muscle aches or, you know, just stuff like that. It's been huge 
in that aspect. Um, abscess is also um, keeping their feet packed with it has been awesome. Um, but I think it's also been helpful just like for everyday soreness, like when they have to make four runs in a row, like I had to do at Calgary. I feel like that was big in keeping Dash feeling good um, was being able to do that with him every night. Um, so yeah, it's just good for inflammation, soreness, abscesses, you know, anything like that. Um, I've just had really good success with it and I used it for a couple of years. And then when I was able to, you know, be able to take it and put it on a bigger stage, I'm, I'm happy that I get to, you know, let everyone else experience it. So yeah, it's pretty cool. That's fantastic. How can people find out more about it? Because whatever you are doing is working and people are going to want to do more of that. Yeah. Um, so we have a website, um, the Econ Essentials. Um, so you can just go on the website. Um, you can order straight from there. We're trying to find a way to ship it to Canada. Um, that's been a big request up here, but it's hard getting stuff like through customs and stuff. Um, so that's the only thing that we haven't figured out yet is how to get it across the border. Um, but you can go to the website, um, which is Beacon Essentials, and there'll be a way for you to order it through there. Excellent. So what, after Calgary, what does the rest of this qualifying season look like for you? Um, so I have the wild card round at Calgary, and then I go to Nampa. So I'm super excited for Nampa because it's an indoor rodeo, and it's, I'm in a perf, and that's like Boozer's setup. So I'm excited to go to Nampa and then I'll leave Nampa and go to Salina, or Salinas, California. Um, and I always say there, I think there's like three rounds in the finals. So hopefully I'll run four times there and then hopefully run in the Nampa finals as well. Um, I was going to go to Cheyenne and stuff, but I think I'm just going to turn out um, it's kind of a lot of miles on my horses. And then I'll come back up to Canada for Strathmore and stuff. And I have to try to get nine more rodeos in to get my Canadian rodeo count so I can go to the finals up here. Um, so that's kind of the goal right now is getting those rodeos in and, you know, just trying to make every run count and not wear my horses out. That is a great strategy. <laughs> and you are doing it. You are winning. And we're just so excited and thrilled for you. We appreciate your time today. We know you're so busy. Uh, we continue to cheer you on and support you. And so keep going, keep following your dreams. You're doing awesome. And we're honored to have you as one of our Renovo sponsored athletes. Thank you. I'm so thankful for our, our partnership. And, um, you know, I'm thankful for Renovo for keeping my horses feeling good. Um, because like I said, it's been the biggest game changer in Boozer for sure. Um, he would, he would probably not be running like he is without it. Um, definitely not running as strong coming back off that injury. Um, you know, cause there were times where I'm like, I'm going to have to scratch the American because I don't have a horse. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think I didn't have to scratch the American in that he came back so strong. Um, so yeah, I'm thankful for that. And, you know, I'm happy to have y'all support. Uh, well, thank you. And to you and your family, be safe out there and we'll be watching. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you.